Swindam na ano ba ma eskasyan? Ants ka enda sa kiunian. Ego ants ka makiwawan eunzian. Sa stis ma tis da dozen daman about kiwawan. An ka giuns matsig. Ben ma ya swindam na ano eskasyan. Well, it's good for you now, is it? Okay, yeah, Ms. Matt Stone. Ah. Men, eh? Yeah, Ms. Matt Stone. How was it going to go? You could do when you got your bus to the end of it. Eu dá para ninguém, nega, ganhamos de tic tu a nível de zin. Eu, eu dá para ninguém, só, with a camera, not phone. Não, 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 Ah, antai gini dah sakyunian. Ah, seven de, seven de four. Yeah, seven de four. Pen masa se, cuin deman anis kasi ane ko ande unzian, mima unse mat stun. Ah, eh, kau tske ande kiwa unga gi unse mat sege kau tske. Ah, ha. Ani ay nene deman maga gaga besian. Ah, ha. Westkads, Westkads maga gaga beswa cawiak. Oh, Westkads. Okay, mis mat stun. Hmm. Okay. Amni ni? Ya. Amni kan ni wajah apa nama? Okay. Kaya istri orang ini kan? Ani makan dia ya ya. Iwe we. Kau kau pun cepat kus dia. Aku cepat kus dia. Aha ingat. Ah, ik van die lek, van die ik het niet wil meer. Ah, mij wel. Ik zie de nacht om ik in de gat ben, dat ik in de gat kom. Ik heb een maga ja ja. Ik heb een kaak om, kaak is weer ja ja. Ik heb gewoon de volk hier in de gat om ik kan weer eens kennen zien. Wees kat, wees kat ik kom. Ah, eu acho que eu vou ficar pijada. Mas não dá como que ele não é. Que é a pica de uma das coisas. Ganhei ainda uma caixa de uma coisa que ele quer dizer. Ah, anda só que acha que uma caixa de uma coisa que ele não é. Eu acho que ele é a coisa mais estranha. A coisa mais estranha. Ah, eu acho que ele é uma caixa de uma coisa. Ah, eu te vou ganhar já para ver se tu ainda vai mais. Ah, eu vou ver se tu vai ganhar mais. Eu te vou ganhar. É, mano. Ah, acho que eu vou ganhar já para ver se tu ainda vai ganhar mais. Eu vou ver se tu ainda vai ganhar mais. Quando eu vou ver se tu ainda vai ganhar mais, eu vou ver se tu ainda vai ganhar mais. Eu vou ver se tu ainda vai ganhar mais. I know we suck. Um, um, and the minute that move up to the safety to that in a knock of a and old magic. And was Kay Gong Kennedy on the sock here in the garden without a mom in the fire. We ask for that. There is no knock of a car. There is no knock of a car. Old magic. We go to the end of man. Down is the end. We go to 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 the end. I'm not going to be able to get my hair on my head. I'm not going to be able to get my hair on my head. I'm not going to be able to get my hair on my head. I'm not going to be able to get my hair on my head.
This is my sister. This is me right there. These are my youngest brother. You got the 80s hair, look at you. <laughs> yeah. There's my mom. My dad, he died of cancer. Mm -hmm. My dad passed away when I was like 18, 19. This is my dad. He's making a, he's making a sled. Who's that with him? Is that your brother? That's my brother here. Yeah. So he passed away young then, I guess, of cancer. When he was on his 50s. Yeah. This is when he was getting sick. He wanted his hair cut because he was on chemo because he knew he was going to lose all his hair. Where was this photo taken? Here in Kiwiwin or? Um, Sandy Lake. That was in Sandy yeah. Lake. Hi. Hi. That's, that's 
pretty much. I don't know what I'm going to go out with the fight against my dad. Aha. I'm going to go to the hook of the star with the air monkey. Mm, ah, so it's got the one. Man, we should need that one. Mm. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go to the match. I'm 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 going to go to the match. No, this is good. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Man, man, Jesus. I didn't wish to get a little bit. I didn't know that. 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 Aku tu yang guna sekali ni sekarang. Orang kaya dah pilih dah ni orang. Eh, nah. Ya, panggil datang sana. Tahan, Donald. Ah? Donald panggil datang sana. Old man Donald. Angkanya kerja yang tuh terwakasi. Angkanya yang tuh terwakasi. Yeah, I bang it to that as much again. Old man Donald. Donald? Yeah, Donald. Donan. Mr. Donan? Yeah, guy in his bun. He had now with that as I'm going to make a beswat. Make a beswat as a mama jawat. Yeah, now we look. I'm here, sir. 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 Kesian senap makan kau je ya makan tu, aje, aje wes kerjain tu macam tu. Aku sebab kau kerja ni muda sahaja aku senyak, aku dah fikir aku yang kesian senap, aku pun yang aku senyak ni. Aman tu, aku dah bos tabuk, aku dah bos tabuk, aku kau ni kau kerja kerja macam tu, aku masih yang ni. Mereka mereka pun kau ni dia sekitar senapai orang semua, ada pun kau kaya kaya. Mereka mereka pun kau ni dia sekitar senapai orang semua, ada pun kau kaya kaya. Mereka mereka pun kau ni dia sekitar senapai orang semua, ada pun kau kaya kaya. Mereka mereka pun kau ni dia sekitar senapai orang semua, ada pun kau kaya kaya. Mereka mereka pun kau ni dia sekitar senapai orang semua, ada pun kau kaya kaya. Mereka mereka pun kau ni dia sekitar senapai orang semua, ada pun kau kaya kaya. Mereka mereka pun kau ni dia sekitar senapai orang semua, ada pun kau kaya kaya. Mak ni kan ingat kerja macam kau ni, macam kau ni kerja. Amik anak aku dah wasi minum mabuk ni kok. Kau ni kau ni kau ni tu kau kaya ni kan macam kau ni tu ya. Benda tu. Wei sekat benda tu kau ni tu tanah benda tu tu benda kau ni tu ni kau ni kau ni tu ya. Ami kan ni we, pas kita kerja bosuk ke? Ya. Pas kita bosuk di nak itu dia makan nanti kaya we. Kalau nanti setahu, kalau nanti setahu aja we ni kita. Mungkin ni dia bosuk, bosuk kalau aku aku mes, mes aku aku tak aku kerja ni nanti aku kerja itu dia makan dia nak we makan lagi sekarang kerja ni aku mes aku. もうバサッとしか、もうバサッとしか、ああ、ビガンしか、ああ、ビガンしか、ああ、ビガンしか、ああ、ビガンしか、ああ、ビガンしか、ああ、ビガンしか、ああ、ビガンしか、ああ、
Miigwech gedienig. Thank you gedienig alweer a bendo record ons. Ha? Miigwech enig. Thank you ek da. Thank you ek da. Ah. Ja. Ja, wat jem, wat jem. Ja, rinder. Ah, boezo. She says boezo. Oh, look at you in the guitar with the guitar. Huh? My next CD, this is what I'm going to use. This cover. We were going to make our own CDs, but it never happened. Why are you doing this? We have uh, community members that are struggling in, in the city and that want to go home, they're lonely. Uh, what can we do to realize where they would stay at home and get these kind of treatments? In terms of just uh, gathering information and uh, and asking people questions about what this is and how it might become possible for QAO to have to have this. Your goals of care. What are your wishes going forward? Um, maybe they ended up on dialysis um, acutely, and so we want to know: Is this where you really want to be? Where would you like to be in the future? And how can we partner to get you there? So those are the questions that are asked. So I, guess, I guess as chief, uh, I, uh, one of the reasons why I started looking at this is because they're the ones that came to me for that, and they, they need help. Mm -hmm. uh, living in the city is really uh, and, uh, uh, difficult for them. Yeah. Uh, their families moving the, the support system. Electrical service and plumbing has to be in, in um, effect. You have to have enough space to store the supplies. You have to be able to use your hands without problems. And your eyes too have to work pretty good. And I also put in there that you can have a care partner available too. So if you can't physically do the entire treatment yourself and you have a care partner, then they um, can be trained to do that as well. Um, a lot of our, our um, education material is in English and we have interpreters as well for training, if we need to have training that's involved. I'm trying to look, uh, I'm thinking of identifying a, a place where they can go do their dialysis. And we we'll hear more uh, talk about home dialysis, right? More independent in, right. in their home. Right. And so this would be like retrofitting somebody's home that actually wanted to do it in yeah, their own but home. What, but what I'm looking at is what do I need to do for not necessarily at home, but a place that they can go that where we have super vision, super clean, and we mm -hmm. have somebody that's monitoring. And hiring that. staff. Right. Hiring staff to perform the dialysis. Right, so you have all the training, the uh, English people, the interpretation, everything that is uh, needed for support services to be there. Correct. Because uh, I know uh, going into what you're talking about is each one being retrofitted. To, that's going to be a question of fitting, uh, uh, like in my case, five homes. Right. That's, gonna, that's not, that's not going to be that easy or simple. The water at the individual's home or the designated space must be potable water. And it has to meet the Canada uh, Drinking Water Guidelines bill. So that well, it doesn't have to be any cleaner than... No, yeah. Potable. Potable Canadian standard guidelines. Um, the water pressure, it must be able to maintain 30 PSIs. 
Um, the power requirements for it is on here. You need uh, you need two dedicated um, um, 20 amp circuits. And it has to be hospital grade that has the ground fault interrupter in it. So you have to have um, has to be hospital grade. Okay. Now, question with that. Is there battery backup in there so that if there is a, a blip or something in it's the... It's not long, no. And with the circuit, and a lot of... So I'll talk a little bit about the generator for the community generator. We'll get down to that to that part. So with that 20 amp, so that's going to be the automatic. We, we would teach mm -hmm. the patients on the, on the machine what they would do in those um, circumstances if that happened. My, my concern was... If there is a power outage mm -hmm. while they're on this, mm -hmm. does it just reset once the, or is it, because when I was thinking on my way up here, because I didn't know what to expect, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we, we could have like battery backup, so your, your machine would be basically hooked to 120 volt batteries so that there would be no power interruption and then they would always be charged through your outlet. And I didn't know if that's was a requirement or if, if there usually. is a break in power. You can ask Mike that one, but no. Our patients are taught to. If there is a, um, when you run your generator reports for your downtime, like your hours, that's all up to you in the community, right. how many hours you have on your generator. But it's for your break in time and your downtime, um, you'll have those reports. So that's kind of a good thing to know. Um, our patients might dialyze three times a week. And if you know in your downtime for your generator um, maintenance is going to be, a lot of times do you know that in advance when the maintenance is, or it's going to go down or? Mm -hmm. yeah. No, uh, no it's it for maintenance purposes, but uh, sometimes it squeaks out like that mm -hmm. and you're sitting in the dark. <laughs> so that's information that Bill's going to get, yeah. okay? So that's going to help us determine, you know, what, um, like what your reports are. That's what and how often that, are. And how often that happens. This um, RO machine, would not be the same. You would not have this in your unit because um, the the water system would be built into the standalone structure. Right. In a home, if somebody wanted to have it in their home, this is what the setup would look like. So that, hence the two, the two, two plus, two, two plus um, one for the green. Uh, and this here is called. This is a reverse osmosis system. So this is when you have potable water and good PSI. Your actually your water will come through here, and it gets cleaned and purified in here before it goes into your body. Yeah. So in the standalone center, that the uh, potential person may have a variety of an access that's able to deliver their dialysis. So this one here is a fistula. So this is something inside their arm where you won't see any tubes or anything coming out. They have needles that are put into here. This one here is called a graft. It's the same thing. They act, they're, they, this is, they're both surgical procedures, these ones, and this is called a graft. So this is another um, potential access that they may have. And then the other one that they may have is a catheter that's on the outside um, of the body. You're going to train your own staff. Your staff may be trained to be able to um, maintain any of these accesses. I'm hearing two different things, so I just want to be very clear about what I'm hearing and just make sure everyone's on the same page. I'm hearing from uh, Chief Chris here that he wants an, an independent dialysis unit with staff that is going to do the dialysis for the patient, which is very different. We call that a satellite unit. So what you visited in Sulaq at Yawin is a satellite of Thunder Bay Regional. Yep, yep. We staff it, we train theirs, our staff from Thunder Bay goes to care for them. The, how you get a satellite unit is governed by the Ontario Renal Network. So us here at Thunder Bay Regional don't participate in that per se decision making process because there's different things that need to be checked off in the boxes in order to be a satellite unit. Okay, I want to make sure that's clear. What Ellen is speaking about here is independent hemodialysis. Very different from what I think I'm hearing Chief Chris say. This is where we would train the patients currently on in-center hemodialysis to perform their own hemodialysis in this independent facility. So we wouldn't send any staff with them. We would be here for support in, in saying that. That means that they can call our nurses if they're having any issues. Right. But 
we don't actually send any staff there. They come to us for clinics every so often. We do have a phone check-in system with those patients, but they are on an independent hemodialysis. So there's no, no hemo staff that's gonna go from here. Now, if you're, your area Hiring wanted your to staff. hire your own staff to perform certain duties, um, maybe, you know, like you mentioned, cleaning the area, ensuring um, that it's a safe area for the patients to go, that would be okay. Or if you decided that you wanted to hire or, or train somebody to do the hemodialysis, so a care partner, as Ellen said earlier in the presentation, we could do that as well. But again, we're not gonna send, we're gonna train that care partner to care for that patient on that dialysis, so how they do the hemodialysis, etc. But we're not gonna send staff, so it's a care partner. And we do that all the time here from our home hemodialysis. But I just wanted to make sure, are we all on the same page, or? Yeah, well, I, I understand it too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I understand yeah. all, uh, what she, she's talking about, and I know what I, I would like, <laughs> but uh, there needs to be... Uh, Lots of work to do. I'm trying to figure out how I can, uh, even if it's home dialysis, providing a place for them to do it, right? Yep. There's home dialysis, right? There's home yes. dialysis. And there's a dead machine and another machine for home dialysis. The two, two types I'm aware of. Uh, the one, uh, uh, that one plus the, the one with this. Uh, <laughs> so this is the perineal dialysis cycler, so the patient yeah. can hook up at night time at home. And then there's the home hemodialysis uh, machine, which Ellen had a picture of as well. There's manual bags for PD as well, which is the gentleman sitting in the so chair that there. Could be a home dialysis classified as a home dialysis, right? Yep. Okay. We we want to support these people that are taking home dialysis. But the next step to that is uh, uh, if we can get our own machines up there, mm -hmm. one of those big machines out there. Mm -hmm. Over here somewhere. <laughs> I, I looked at those things here, and I looked at the, them at in uh, Sokot. The uh, Sokot machine seems to be the type that's a sort of, like you say, satellite, right? So those are our in facility machines. What you see here on the screen right now. These are. I know they're different. They're they're different. Do the same thing. Yeah, I know they're they're different, and I know they they need. A certain requirement. We are also looking at uh, uh, satellite because that's why we're we're searching the uh, the power and the water and all that stuff. Right. Uh, I'm aware that uh, uh, we need to provide that kind of uh, uh, needs for those machines. Uh, water supplies got to be there. As she says about 300 uh, liters a day or, or per, 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 session. per session. But we're going to be doing a feasibility study for a new health station. So if we could show that we're starting this path, possibly when we could include that into the, the, the feasibility and design so that it would meet the requirements for a satellite. I'm glad we started this. I'm glad we're in this our second meeting. Because this is what the process I, yeah. I need to know, or the steps. The steps, so what to take, what's available, I, when. And I, I need to go have this, uh, at least a vision of goal that I'm trying yeah. to achieve. And oh, I appreciate baby that. steps and slowly doing home dialysis and working towards, uh, towards uh, uh, getting a satellite center. Yeah, it's a great vision. I mean, it's, I, I appreciate this would be a huge undertaking and it's fantastic. Auditors. Uh-huh. They came and did our presentation, and what I told my auditors is get a picture with a native person on <laughs> oh. I am going to do better. Okay. <laughs> Next time, I am doing better. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think I do. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I mean, just, uh, even, even if it's uh, if it's QO, yeah. it would be nice to have my own uh, people, people mm -hmm. in the picture. So, I thought that you know, that's funny.